What's up, everybody? I'm Kim Doyle, the WordPress chick. And I had decided, uh, after having a quick Skype call with a friend who is uh, also a ClickFunnels user, and I'm on this bandwagon to make Hatchbuck happiness <laughs> spread through the planet. Um, so I've been talking to him about Hatchbuck for email, and he said, yeah, but does it integrate with ClickFunnels? And I said, yes, yes, it does. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how these integrate really quickly. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to create a funnel. And uh, if you have not taken a look at ClickFunnels, you need to jump all over this. I'm also in the process, and I probably don't have time, but I'll do another video because I'm using this for a few funnels as well as a membership funnel. And it is gorgeous. Okay, so we're simply going to create the funnel. Come down here. And again, this really is not a ClickFunnels tutorial, so I apologize for that. Um, let's do um, ClickFunnels. There we go. Demo. I'm not going to create a tag for this right now just because I'm probably going to delete this. Now, this is simply going to be, I, just so you know, uh, because I've already set up the campaign inside of Hatchbox, so I've already got the form and I already have the email sequence and the thank you page. All of that's already set up. I just want to show you how to integrate these two. So, uh, ClickFunnels has just a boatload of amazing templates. I'm going to pick one that is quick and easy. We're going to select this template and I'm going to just use a photo for the background. Kind of goes in line more with my brand. All right, so once this comes up, we are going to open it in the editor and you'll see these two little um, uh, messages that come up at the bottom on the right hand side where it says finish setting up all the funnel pages, but it's telling me that I created it correctly, but I have to finish it, which means I have to create the opt-in and then here is the thank you page. Now, I will not be using this thank you page simply because I send them back to my site for the download, okay? So let's come over to this button right here, and we're going to click Open in Editor. And I will try to keep this moving quickly. Okay, so this is the super fabulous ClickFunnels editor. And you see when I hover over where I can edit everything, right? And then we've got this panel over on the right-hand side. So let's just do this really quick, just so you can see how quickly you can change this out. Um, let's do instant access download now. Uh, probably, well, we're not gonna worry about the exclamations. Now, if you wanted to edit the size of this, see if I hover over here and I get this orange, uh, the orange outline, the pretext, you click on the gear here on the left, well, on the left of those tabs, and then you can come down and you can edit the font size. So we'll just go up to 21 for now. Then let's just change the name to my top 10 tools. The top 10 tools I use to profit with WordPress. Um, and you can put it all online, whatever you want to do. Um, that's all I'm going to do. I am going to just change out the background now. So if you come up to settings, you'll see that there are background settings. And I have um, some images in here already. So let's go ahead and pick something different. That is a background. Uh, let's do this one. I was playing with this one and it, uh, I don't know, didn't line up correctly. Okay. Actually, I'm just going to double click this because I am on my MacBook and it's a little bit smaller. Okay. So, so that's done. Now, obviously I would probably come back and I'm not gonna do this for the purpose of this video, but I would change the colors or I would redo the photos so it's not quite so overpowering uh, because the opt-in is kind of hard to see. What I want you to see is how easy it is to integrate with Hatchback, right? So this form is just asking for name, email, get instant access. So what I'm gonna do is you, you could click on this a couple ways. I'm just going to come over to the right and click on email. And under integration, I'm going to select this null, which is just telling you that it um, will integrate with an HTML form. And you're seeing other integrations that I've had, but that's all we're going to use um, is the HTML form. Now under action, I want to select integrate existing form. So then it asks me for the web form code. So we're going to come up to Hatchbuck. And you'll see I've already, I came up to tools, online forms, and I created a specific form. Now, 
again, one of the reasons I love Hatchbuck is because you can segment and create actions and tags very similar to Infusionsoft, but it's better because it's easier and I love it and it's pretty. Um, but over on the right hand side, you're going to see where it says embed and integrate. So this is the option we're going to select use plain HTML code. So you just click this and I'm going to copy the code. And yeah, I could have done the copy to clipboard right there, but you know, why not? Uh, we're going to come back over here. I'm simply going to paste the code in. We're going to click parse and save web form. And then you'll see where it's saying not synced, not synced. I'm just going to select name and email. Obviously, we're not syncing a website. And you see now where it says it's connected. So let's go ahead and save this. Um, and there's something else you can, I've created a custom domain in here, but for the sake of this video, let's go ahead and just preview it and test this, okay? So we've come up here. Let's go ahead and test our form. Get instant access. Now, um, so you see where it, well, you see? <laughs> Sorry, easy for me to say, but it, it registered with Hatchbuck. This is the thank you page that I have put in um, for the opt-in offer. So they send them here. This page was actually created with uh, Thrive Content Builder, but I want it on my site. Click the start now. There's a report. Um, so clearly, and there's ClickFunnels, <laughs> and Hatchbuck is in here too. Is that my first one? Yeah, there you go. Uh, two of my favorite tools. So that's it. Now let's just confirm... Boom. So here we have Hatchback notification of online form submittal. And that would be me. Love it. It is perfect. And I can tell you it works just because I have done it um, a zillion times. I've opted into this a few times. But it works super easy. I am thrilled. I am so happy that uh, Hatchback did this plain HTML code generator. Now, my next test, of course, will be to um, do the ClickFunnels with the webinar and Hatchback. And we'll, we'll see how that goes. But I can tell you right now, in terms of sales pages, um, squeeze pages, and the member pages, which I'm setting up, and let me just go ahead and show you that while we're here. Hopefully this isn't too long, but let's go back to my funnels, and this is for um, a new course, and we've been debating, you know, courses, it's very interesting with WordPress, because courses really should be focused on the content, right? So this is for the upcoming Sell with WordPress course. And I want to show you, let's see if we can go ahead and just view this. I'm probably logged in though. Let's see. Yep, that's not going to work. Um, we can, you can see this here, but let, let's go ahead and look at the membership area. I just want you to see how awesome this is. So let's go ahead and we'll do the membership area. Look at this thing. I could not be happier with how, how gorgeous and easy this is to set up. Anyway, so more videos on that coming later, but... Just know that if you're considering Hatchbuck and you love ClickFunnels like I do, they work beautifully together. Uh, so that's it. Any questions, let me know. But check them both out. I, I, I love both tools. And again, as long as you can copy and paste an HTML code, I don't see, for a form, I don't see there being an issue with Hatchbuck ever at this point. So there you go.